What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I'm going to open up another Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of the Elements box. So yeah, this set should be released everywhere now. We already opened up a box, what was it, uh, Sunday, I think, and that was like part of the, uh, like the core premiere. Basically, you're able to get like a week early and all that, but today we finally have the set. It is out. I should be getting my case sometime soon, hopefully today, if not tomorrow or something as well. I'm thinking we'll probably do a few openings like recorded and then maybe the rest all like live stream or something. So let me know if you'd like to see something like that. I'm hoping we're going to have a lot of you guys watching and all that too. And I'll see if I can get some of these for drip as well so I can actually, you know, sell some of them to you guys, open them up. I mean, last time with Dimension Force, we got a starlight for you guys. So I would love to do that again. And even the other day too, we also got like a lot of rare like Korean cards and even pulled the ghost rare from Duels from the Deep for someone and actually sent that off and, and gave away an obelisk. And it, it was just crazy. Like seriously, you ought to join those live streams. They're a lot of fun. We've had some serious luck. Like one person, I opened up a Korean box, a Phantom Darkness, just tore open like the lid, picked one pack out of there because he just bought one pack, opened it up for him. And it was a, a Rainbow Neos Ultimate Rare. So yeah, that he just for one pack, he paid for it, free shipping by the way on everything on Drip, and got an Ultimate Rare Rainbow Neos, which is just awesome. I couldn't believe that. I just randomly picked it, I was like, here, this is going to be the one, and I called it, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely worth it for him too. So you guys are going to check those out, and of course too, uh, for this, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and all that it helps out tremendously. YouTube has been kind of rough lately, I don't know why, algorithm maybe changed. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I suck. I don't know. <laughs> and also, if you want to check out uh, TCG Player, I'll have it where it takes you to this set. And basically, uh, it'll show you like all the cards in the set, what their prices are. If you plan on buying any of them or buy anything from TCG Player, it will also help support my channel as well. So please click on that link and uh, do that if you plan to, because this set's really good. I mean, we have the sprites. We have the uh, hero support, uh, tier elements. Uh, Mortronics were added to this, which is still weird to see that. Uh, a lot of things. Like, I want to build heroes. I want to build Exorcisters because they got new support in this, too. They have a new trap card and effect monster. And uh, sprites as well. Like, I want to build that. So, we'll see. With the case, I should be able to, right? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hadn't gotten that yet, like I said. Wish me luck, right? Share your energy with me, you guys, and I hope you guys are having luck, too. Let me know what you plan on building in the comments. I really want to hear it, because I like this set. I like it quite a bit. That's why I'm getting a case. Vendred, uh, uh, Scavenger. I was going to say Scarvenger, because that was the Japanese name. Uh, forgive me on that. going to be a few names. I'm sure I'm going to want to say the Japanese translated. Gadget Gamer. There you go. A real gamer. And Gem Knight Quartz. Yeah, I always forget Gem Knights were actually in this set. I don't know if it made a huge difference, unfortunately, but it is cool to see them, so. What is the, is the Link Monster? Was that the one that was hit, or? God, it's been a while. I miss Gem Knights. Be cool to see them come back, though. And Grand Tusk Dragon. But yeah, I'm hoping for Exosisters and Sprites, basically, the most. And Heroes, I don't think, are going to be that tough to get if I miss out, so. Emperor uh, Tanuki's Critter Count. <laughs> I like that one. I remember seeing the Japanese version of that. It's pretty adorable, actually. I, I would buy sleeves of that, for sure. Or even a playmat. Maybe they'll do that. My wife would love that, for real. I should still get her to do my unboxings. She has better luck than me. Oh, well, this is a good sign for me. Hey, we got a good ultra rare. <laughs> we have a gigantic uh, Sprite. Again, I want to say Splite every time. So forgive me. I'm going to say that probably a few times in this. But yeah, we got the rank two. So this is my second one, actually. First box. Yeah, we also got one. We need to see the Link Monster, right? But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're one step closer on that. Yeah, if you didn't know, too, uh, on the day of the core premiere where you get some of these early i also picked up a couple of booster packs with my wife and we each opened up two packs she got uh the theron ultra i forget its name off the top of my head but also uh sprite blue which is seek rare that was like a hundred dollars so yeah i just got two super rares <laughs> so she kicked my butt because i was just like hey let's see you know do like a mini little pack challenge we should have recorded it honestly we just you know got tired of driving and wanted to open some packs math circular 
Also, when you're on camera a lot, you don't always want to be on camera, so... But I, I really should, like, record it every time, because it's the ones you don't that are amazing. Every time. And again, that's why I should get her to open up my packs. Albaz the Ashen. Still like this one. Another Albaz, basically. I think they got another Fusion in the set, too, if I remember correctly. Life Extreme. And we got Instant Contact. I got that last time, I think, too. I'm still bummed out about Aeronius not being part of it. And, uh, yeah, uh, the hero stuff, I'm looking for it, but I know it's not going to be that expensive. So I'm hoping for my boxes mainly. I'll get the more expensive cards I need instead of buying those. And, uh, yeah, you know, from the mystery box, get what you need. I probably shouldn't follow what I do. <laughs> but, you know, I'm one of those guys. I go for the mystery box I, instead of going for the, the boat. So if you get that reference, God bless you. <laughs> but I love the hero support, too. I, I am just an absolute sucker for heroes every time. They got good support from this, too. But if, if you tell me heroes are getting support, I don't care which version of them, I'm a happy boy. That or Dragoonities. Like, I'm instantly like, well, I'm buying that set, you know? Let's see. We, oh, there's the Gem Knight, actually. Uh, Gem Knight uh, Lady Rose Diamond. I don't think we got her last time, so... Okay. I'm going to try to scan in. Then we have, oh, I'm going to try my best to say this, uh, Vernon Sylph of the Awakening Force. That's about as good as you're going to get from me. I think I actually did a good job, though. Oh, yeah, and I love Moki Moki. Again, I want an archetype for Moki Moki. I would sign that petition. Just saying. I guess he technically is like an archetype, but I want more is what I'm saying. I want at least five more cards for him, you know? Make him something that I can build like a deck for. Like real support. Then, oh, there we go. Another one of the tier elements. Uh, this one is that, I think I got that last time, uh, Kit Kalos? Or no, I got the other one, I think. I got the effect monster. So yeah, this is actually the fusion. Again, tier elements are going to be really good. I think it's going to be probably next set when we start seeing them do well, probably like tier zero. It depends too on the Ishizu stuff, because I know that's what's doing well for them in Japan. Um, that's what worries me about the Mortronic stuff being in here. That makes me wonder what are they going to do with Ishizu's cards. Unless they throw them in the next set with the rest of the tier element stuff, which they might. It would make sense. Then that would be cool. But, yeah. I mean, tier elements are definitely worth holding on to. They are attempting to build, but I think one of my friends is going to build them, so I might just help him out with that. I love their artworks, though, for sure. But, I don't know. Fusion archetypes, by the way, are just getting all kinds of cool stuff. Like, all the best archetypes lately are fusion monster-based. Exosister Returnia. I actually need one of those. So that's good. I'm trying to get everything I need for deck profiles. Crawler Soma. And Rika Concon. I'm going to go with that. I'm trying not to sneeze, by the way. Excuse me. I'll edit out the sound or something so I don't blow anyone's eardrums out. Ugh. Allergies. And Elemental Hero uh, Spirit of Neos. Okay, cool. That's a good super. I mean, he counts as another Neos, basically. So that's actually really good support for them, too. Yeah, I don't like to edit and pack openings. I don't want people to think I mess with things, so I'll just uh, mess with the volume, basically, where I sneezed. Because you never know. I've been told plenty of times that I somehow edit these and do that. Tear Elements, uh, Shirin? Shirin? I don't, uh, hopefully close enough. I forget what their names are based off of. They seem German to me or something, but I could be so wrong, you know. Who knows? We'll have to look it up. Oh? Oh, it's one of the Punk Monsters. Punk Jam uh, Dragon Drive. I forgot they actually got a Synchro in this set. Their artworks are really good. I do like them, but I, I don't think I'm going to go with them, you know? It's one of those, like, they have amazing artworks, and I really like the whole idea with them. But, yeah. 
Some of their cards are actually expensive now, though, too. Digital jamming. What else we got? Oh, there we go. A Theron Irregular. I believe that was the one my wife also got with Splite Blue. So, yeah, I could not remember its name. It was like, it's Theron, but yeah, <laughs> after that I couldn't remember. But there you go. Kind of a shame. I feel like Theron's really didn't get to do much. They had, you know, Theron ABC was pretty cool, but I feel like now was with Sprites, that's just what you're going to see, you know? That's just going to be the main deck, so. And uh, Splite Jet, there you go, one of the super rares. I do like how a lot of their cards aren't too high rarity. I figure, like, everything would be hollow. I could see Konami doing it kind of thing. I was like, ooh, please don't. <laughs> but, yeah, it doesn't seem as bad as I thought. And Power Tool Braver Dragon, there you go. Still want him as a Ghost Rare. That'd be cool. And only a few packs left. So what are we missing? We're missing an Ultra Rare and a Secret Rare. So, hope for the best. I'd really like to get the Exo Sister, to be honest. But we'll see. You know what? That's a cool one, too. I'll take it. It is a Draco Utopian Aura. Yeah, this is a pretty cool card. I knew this would be like a secret rare for us when I first saw it. But it is an interesting card for us. It's a counter trap, and uh, I love the way it looks, too. It is a really neat one. So even though we don't see as many traps these days, besides impermanence, if you really count it as such. But uh, yeah, I, I like to see some more powerful traps again. And that sentence could be used in so many different ways that I don't want to know about. <laughs> Astolfo, no. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, we should be missing an Ultra Rare. Maybe I'll get the Link Monster for for sprites. Oh, we got uh, Eka Flame Buddy? Yeah, I'll go with that. I want to say Flame Body. That's why I was like, no, that's not right. Okay, Vindred. And Melfi Staring Contest. That is still like the best card of the set. <laughs> That artwork, wow, I love it. Okay. Then, to your elements, whoop, focus, there we go. And, is Moray of Avarice. This card is actually pretty interesting, it's really creepy though. That's another interesting one. What was the full effect again? It was like banished, yeah, a face up, a fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster you control, draw two cards, you can only activate one of this per turn. So. It's an interesting draw card. I don't know if it would really be used. Maybe. That, I don't know. That could be used in like, in like Shark or something possibly. But yeah, that, God, that's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Just looking at that card it makes me uncomfortable. But yeah, it's like Hungry Dumpty. I think that was one of the older cards I used to hate too. Last pack. What do we got? We got everything, I think. But hey, you know, give me that extra starlight, you know? I, I wouldn't complain, Konami. Come on. I love you, Konami. Please do it. Oh, <laughs> and we have EN Wave, which I think was the last one we got in our first box. So, yeah, more Elemental Hero stuff. That is always a plus. But, yeah, that box again, it was okay. I mean, I guess we didn't get anything just too crazy, I feel like. I I'm pretty happy, though, with what I got. Because, again, with it being a newer set, I mean, I want a little bit of everything. Mainly sprites and heroes, and I got a little bit of that, too. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm afraid the Exo Sister is going to be such a pain to get. Because, again, the Effect Monster, I believe, is a Secret Air. And uh, the trap, at least, is a, uh, you know, super. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried on that. But other than that, uh, we'll have to see what happens. But let me know what you guys think about this set, if you're excited about it or not excited. And uh, what you plan on building. Because, again, this is a really cool set. It is one I've been looking forward to for a while. That's the reason, like I said, I'm buying a case of it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, there's probably a reason for that. You know, it's probably pretty good is why I'm willing to spend that. So let me know uh, what you guys think about it and uh, what you're excited about from it, of course. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.